Now, Benjamin Lawrence is a professor of international studies at the Rochester Institute of Technology. He's a legal historian and expert witness in numerous asylum claims from the Gambia. He joins us via Skype from Rochester. We appreciate your time so much. So, as Nicholas was reporting, um, West African countries are not just standing by watching this happen. Give us a little historical perspective on that. Well, uh, what seems to be prepare, people are preparing for is effectively an invasion of the Gambia from Senegal. Of course, the Gambia is surrounded by Senegal, so troops will come in from Senegal. And there have been precedents to this, uh, although how exactly they are precedents will be obviously debated. Senegal did invade uh, at the request of the president back in 1981 when there was an attempted coup. And we've also the precedent of Tanzania invading Uganda to overthrow Idi Amin, who then went into exile in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. So there are precedents. And there's also, of course, the invasion of Sierra Leone uh, under the junta um, by the Nigerian-led uh, West African force. Uh, so that's really perhaps the closest um, military parallel. And, and should something like this happen, what are the options for the Gambian people? Many of them are already fleeing. Yes. Well, I think um, if I were living in the Gambia right now, I would be exiting very rapidly because even if it is a relatively, uh, I use the word cautiously, peaceful movement of, of Senegalese and other African forces into the Gambia, there's always the potential for violence. So there's two factors, of course. Um, all military are susceptible to uh, uh, displays of violence when the opportunity um, presents itself. So there could be isolated incidents, shooting, there could be uh, sexual violence by soldiers. So if I were Gambian, I would probably be wanting to exit. Um, but there's also the fact that there's a small uh, cohort of loyalists uh, who are very loyal to um, the outgoing president and dictator. And the, the two groups particularly that I'd be concerned about if I were in Gambia would be the Jungleur, which is a paramilitary group, and then the state guard, which are effectively his private police. And those people are very loyal, and I wouldn't be surprised if he finds himself cornered by um, African troops, that they put up a bit of a fight. Okay. Benjamin Lawrence, uh, Professor of International Studies, thank you so much. You're very welcome.